Hey guys, today I bring you a quick guide on all the essence weapons you get and work for on the moon via Eris Mon. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more daily Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so the essence weapons are basically the moon's weapons, equivalent to the Dream Bane armor. I'm not sure if they're stated or called Dream Bane weapons. No information I could find actually confirms that. So we're just going to call them essence weapons because they drop from essence quests. So these essence weapons are basically the moon's weapons, which you have to find said quests for and do certain tasks to unlock them. The weapons consist of the Art Logic Auto Rifle, the Tranquility Sniper, the Fine Memorial Heavy Machine Gun, the Loud Lullaby Hand Cannon, the One Step Shotgun, the Dreambreaker Fusion Rifle, the Premonition Pulse Rifle, Every Walking Moment SMG, the Love and Death Grenade Launcher, and the Night Terror Sword. These, as far as I know, are the only rewards tied to these essence quests you collect, besides the armor ones you get for running through the story. Now, how are these essence weapon quests obtained? Well, people, they drop from random places on the moon, from lost sector chests to public event chests, even HVTs drop them. So to get them, simply just farm various places on the moon. Now, what you need to do once you get said quests, well, my essence of vanity, which rewards the sniper, should give you a clue to what these actually consist of. Activities completed, this consists of public events, patrols and lost sectors, kills with said weapons, my one is a sniper, obviously, pretty straightforward, and then we have certain things we have to find, mine being the horned wraith. Now where these are located is pretty straightforward and the clue is in the description of the quest. Collect the Horn Wraith in the Chamber of Night to cleanse the essence. Now sometimes on certain essence quests these can be found lying around but with others they do drop after you kill a certain said boss in this location. When you are getting close to said item or boss you have to defeat, a diamond will appear on your map. So once you have done said objectives, you need to head back to Erismond to cleanse the weapon in a chest which spawns near her. This chest only appears when you get through the story to this stage right here, in the deep. Doing this allows Eris to craft more Dreambane armor, as well as these weapons. So which weapons are tied to what essence? Well, the sniper from what you saw is the essence of vanity. The auto rifle is the essence of failure. The piece you'll have to collect is called the Captis Cord and it's located in the Lunar Battlegrounds. The Pulse Rifle is the essence of envy. You have to collect the claws of Urgef, I believe that's pronounced, in the Shrine of Oryx. The Hand Cannon is the essence of brutality. Item you need to collect is called the Necromatic Strand, which is located within the Hall of Wisdom. The Fusion Rifle quest is the essence of servitude. The item you need to collect is the Rafer's uh, Horned Reef, which I believe that's definitely said wrong and it's located in the catacombs. The shotgun's essence quest is the essence of rage, and you have to claim the fangs of Shungaif in the world's grave to cleanse this essence. The SMG is the essence of obscurity. The item you have to collect is the withered plumes, and this is located in the circle of bones. The heavy machine gun is the essence of greed. The item you have to collect is the ethereal charm, and this is located in the temple of Krota. The sword is the essence of jealousy, the item you have to collect is a Raonic's Hatchet, located in the Traitor's Catch. The Grenade Launcher, the quest is the Essence of Insanity, and this requires you to find the Bound Manacle, which is located within the Gatehouse. And these are the Essence weapons obtainable from the Moon via doing certain activities and so forth. So what's needed for each weapon you would have seen via the descriptions I had on screen from Light.gg. Certain steps vary, but at the end of them you always have to go back to the Moon and find a certain said object. But all quest steps and all objects and locations would have been seen on screen. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.